I think you should give your horse a bit of ground handling when they're younger. You know, basically when they're foals. A little bit more when they're yearlings. You don't have to do lots and lots and lots, but you know, a little bit of time here and there spent on your babies will make this job so much easier. And you can handle them, uh, you know, an immense amount when they're younger. But you must make sure you do it correctly, keep the discipline levels up, all that kind of stuff. You know, he's obviously had a few long days at the start, and then I get to a point that I'm looking for those shorter days where it's really pleasant and pretty easy going physically and mentally. And each time you get on, you know, another important tip is I'm not really ever in a rush to go immediately. I kind of want him to think I'm going to get on, we're going to stand there for a while. And you know, rule of thumb, obviously if I thought he was struggling with something, I'd just spend more time on each stage. Um, I'd back up and I'd take longer at each point. So if you're just picking up watching this video and you're wondering what's going on, probably need to reference back to some videos from beforehand. So they were unlikely to throw a rope around his neck and pull on it. I am teaching him about seat position, leg position when I back up. Yeah, but you're always going to have arguments where he wants to go to his friend or he wants to go to the stables and you're saying, no, no, you got to stay over here. And he's like, yeah, but I want to be over there. Like that discussion's always going to happen. And you know, you end up having to pull him around a bit. Now, if I've already bitted him up and long reined him, I'm in his mouth. I'm getting to that point where he's accepting of being asked to do things. And at that point, I still haven't touched his mouth. And by the time I go and put a, a bit on him, you know, like his mouth's preserved and he's happy to go where he's told. So there's a lot less pulling in the bridle, which I really like. Anyway, let's get back to it, moving around again. And that doesn't mean, I'm not saying for one second, that you can't long rein your horse, put it in a bridle early, and not create a horse with a soft mouth. I just found overall, I, I prefer doing it this way. Um, and I think overall, I just more chance of me producing a softer a softer horse so another point about riding with one lead and riding in a halter if this horse were to get a fright when you take one lead and bend him around and you just make it difficult for him to misbehave <laughs> you know or act like a horse is probably more to the point you know when that happens you you don't really have much choice. Like you can bend him around and try to persuade him not to. But when you've got a bit and you've got two reins, we've all got a tendency to go, you know, straight away and grab him and pull him around and pull on his mouth and say, no, 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 don't do that. You know, this kind of, it doesn't mean that I can't do it to a certain extent, but it is only, you know, obviously a lot less. Thank you so much for watching. If you could like, share, subscribe, turn on the notifications bell, that would be awesome. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, no. good boy.
so I talked a little bit at the start about I'd like him to have like an easy mental and physical day to day. And I would have been happy for him to do that two days ago too, but he wasn't quite ready. So if he gives me that gun back the other way, that's gonna be his day. obviously happy to stop if he wasn't happy to stop I'd just bend him around until he got stopped um, I was also really happy with a couple of decisions he made then you know in comparison to where he's been where he went oh, I've had enough I'd like to stop and one time I had a little tangle in my rope so it took me a little while just to get him going again um, or have that lead rope ready to chase him up but he kind of went well I'm, I'm ready to stop and I said, no, no, keep going. And he went off really peacefully. Where his attitude has been in the past few days, that would have been a good spot for him. Or, or, or it would have been a, yeah, the spot that he would be most likely to go, we'll get stuffed, I don't want to keep going. Um, but today he's just more accepting of the decision. So, you know, he's thrown down that he's accepting and wanting to work. I'm happy with that. So, gets a little early, Mark. Because good workers shouldn't be worked into the ground, you know. <laughs> he's showing me that, well, I could be a good worker. And I'm going, well, if you're a good worker, you know, life's easier. So... That's very cool. All right, we'll call it a day. And don't forget, you probably know this one by now. Go out, give your horse a rub because he's doing the best he can with the person he got stuck with. All right, catch you on the next ride. G'day, thank you very much for watching. I do really appreciate it. This video of Gino's journey is meant to be more of a entertainment video, not educational, as in it's not a how-to video. All horses react and start differently. If you are going to attempt to start your own horse, you really need to enlist the help of a seasoned professional or get a seasoned professional to do your horse for you and get them started. It's not an easy job and it's not a job to be taken lightly because this is your horse's introduction to the rest of his riding career and it's really not to be messed with. So take it for what it is. It's a lot of fun to watch. It's been a lot of fun to share and I really appreciate that you've taken the time to watch it and that you'll keep watching the channel. Thank you very much. Cheers.